give you an idea what it's like to vacuum it. Does that mean? here a Royal, I mean not a Royal, it is a GE, General Electric. Whatever brand it is, it's very special because uh, it belonged to another collector who's no longer with us, um, who apparently got it from this was his childhood, childhood church vacuum. Yes, his mom's <laughs> church used this machine um, until the plug went out and they were going to throw it away. So that, that's quite the interesting machine. Now something that was really cool about this is this has a automatic height adjustment on it. You just press here and it, it finds the right it just cantilevers to the right yeah. position. Um, so we're going to turn it on because it is just... Don't forget the two speeds. <laughs> That pistol grip, which is actually quite comfortable to use, helps you steer the machine. Oh, it's leaking quite a bit of dust. Um, it's probably covered in dust. It is probably covered oh. in dust. Uh, so that's the belt lifter, oh. belt uh, compartment. This raised logo, multiple pieces pinned together. And then it's got the instructions of how to replace the belt on the back of here. That's very cool. Give you an idea what's inside there. This is maybe what the Kirby vacuum uh, was in the Brave Little Toaster, uh, but that's debatable. Definitely comment below. Um, then this roller in here is not really cool. Again, I'll just show this weird cantilever height adjustment is just... You reach back and touch the motors, you've got your motor carbons right there. Really cool piece of vintage machinery. It's just so solid feeling. Oh, and we got the accessories. Now this is this is really cool. We have the accessories. So let's see what we got here. Um, first of all, we got this beautiful diagram, and I, I love old vacuum manuals and old diagrams. So I'm just going to show that old rubber accessories. All right. Let's uh, so take the belt off and you would put this on. The belt lifter tool is what's oh. really awesome. And this... What is that? Originally these all came with those in the... That's, that's the petrified. End, this is the petrified end cap that no longer fits in the machine. Small petrified. Right, belts. We got a... Cap for that. Cap for that. We got the a... belt lifter this tool. This is a belt remove, remover tool. This is actually a really good idea. Just a dollar rod. Incredibly simple. I think this is... I think I'm gonna like this better than the Royal. Oh yes, I do. Um, so we just, uh, now I've got it plugged in. That's all right. Uh, I'm just gonna roll it up on there. And pull it off, That that's really cool. Um, I should make some of these up for uh, Royal customers. That or would just be. just use on the bench. Uh, okay, so we're gonna put the hose on here. Uh, presumably, let's just twist it on. Find the notch. There's some labeling there. There's some labels. If we read the instructions, we will figure this out. I'm just going to look in there and cheat and see where the notch is, and I'm not seeing the notch at all in the machine. So I'm just going to stick it in there and see what. Let's see here. Well, aren't you glad attachments aren't like this anymore? There we go. You're putting it in at an angle. I yeah. think it's just kind of like that. All right, so now, <laughs> and this hose is still good. That's what's cool about this. I think so. Let's let's give it the test. The... Oh, well, let's yeah, give it the other test. Give it the other test. <laughs> Not have a lot of 
suction. Half of the suction is leaking through here somewhere. Uh, the hose is leaking. It's cool those accessories. Oh, these rubber. Actually, we had it on load. Rubber accessories. So this is the deluxe accessories. I have yeah, this. Because we have this, comes off, and there's your bigger dusting brush. I have the standard accessories as well, but I figured I'd show off the deluxe. Well, it's an interesting crevice tool. That's standard for the early 50s. That is an interesting Late crevice 40s. tool. They were all made of that fiber material. Or they were metal. Well, what's interesting is the shape. This is not just wider. It allows yeah. for more airflow, for sure. Um, and then we had the sprayer attachment. This aluminum wand is very light too. This is uh, it's super super cool. Because you could put this hose on. This the... is just a belt. Yeah. It's why, interesting. Why, why is it got a? I don't. Why is the belt? Well, if you know why the belt is like this, presumably more grip or something. That was some sort of something. Okay. Then we have in here. Interesting. Of course, you could also put this hose on where the bag was and use this as a blower. And then you could directions for liquid spray. Uh, would you be painting your house with this, or just spraying soap? What was this used for? Because I know what Kirby uses it for. Well, let's see. Let's consult, consult the consult the uh, owner's manual right there. I'm gonna pull the, the sprayer. Up. Is indeed a versatile attachment. A sp versatile attachment. It can be is used to spray non-volatile, in parentheses, liquid insecticides. Insecticides, liquid wax, and watercolor paints. Watercolor See instructions paints. below to, for use of attachments for blowing. So we're going to go ahead and put this belt lifter on. This goes over this. And because uh, I'm not familiar with this machine, let's make sure I'm doing this the right way. Oh, there's, the picture actually doesn't tell you which way. So I'm going to. It's the same way as Royal or Kirby. And I always forget on the Royal which way to go, so we're gonna... I did You grab the belt from the bag side. That's the way to remember. From the bag side. Alright, that just uh, that that's just very pleasing. It is. Um, <laughs> this whole machine is just this is just beautiful. If you notice it's actually quite powerful. Um you know I don't doubt it. It does seem like it's moving a lot of air. There's always the tests I do if I want to know. Yeah, it is, it is a lot of it. Give you an idea of what it's like to vacuum this out.